Jason Lankerberger along with Rich Gonzalez here at Veterans Stadium, Buchanan High School for the 2018 CIF Track Field Championships, the 100th edition of the year-end meet. Although we know we didn't have many national leaders come in, we did think we would have a lot of close races and a lot of excitement, and that is exactly what happened. All you gotta do is look at the very shortest race of the day, the 100 meter dash, an upset victory, Casimir Allen of Tulare Union, winning by three thousandths of a second over the favorite, Asani Hampton of Ukaipa. Gives you an idea of the action throughout. We did have eight returning individual state champions, and we kind of mentioned beforehand, several were underdogs. I believe three of the eight won, the other five did not. There were some upsets, not a, not a great deal, but a lot of excitement. Your opening thoughts? You know, they say that at the state meet final, excitement breeds performance, and I think we saw that here today. I, we mentioned that before that the state may be a little bit on a downward slope, but there was a lot of great competition here today that brought out the best in a lot of different athletes. Um, I'll start with our state meet record here in the pole vault, uh, Sandre Good Morrison of Davis Senior High School. Um, something about the kid, he's, he's just an excitable guy, very talented, extremely talented, but he just seems to bring out the zest and, and the passion for the, for the sport. Uh, I think it's great to see he had the crowd excited. Um, he cleared 17 feet 10, again, a state meet record here. He ends his high school career, CIF career, as the state's all-time record holder and definitely brought a lot of passion to the event this year. You know, one of the great highlights of the meet this year, what was going on in the field of an area, literally seconds apart, you had Sandra Gutormson going after the state meet, or this all-time state record, and then Sean Lee going after the state meet record. It was back and forth between the two events. And it was fun to see the crowd <laughs> inching to one side of the stadium to watch those two play out. Definitely a lot of drama. As far as some of the other news, on the boys' side, the distance races, Northern California took care of business. In the 800, defending champ Jet Charvet went down to another NorCal person individual, Jason Gomez of Westmont, in a thrilling race where we lead the top 10 finishers in the race, all PR, and Gomez just over 150, just over on that, I believe it was 150.21, but again, a PR for him as well. Uh, Liam Anderson in the, in the 1600, trying to go for 1600, double. Liam won the 1600 in the state leading time, 409 and change. And then he tried to come back and double in the 32, and what a great duel it was. <laughs> El Camino Real's Justin Hazel and Matt Strangio from Jesuit, a sophomore who had missed most of the last five weeks of the season because of an injury. And he came back, no pressure, relaxed, and really, really surprised and a great finish to win. I believe it was 856 and change. You talked, impressive. you talked about that particular race. It, it, it was fantastic. I mean, the, the match play between the two, back and forth, and then those last 200 meters, each of them making moves, responding. Strangio had a little bit more at the end to pull out the, the victory, but it was a great, great, great finish. In the sprints, we mentioned Casimir Allen, the upset winner. Uh, in the finish, it came down to a lean. Allen leaned and won. Asani Hampton, the favorite, didn't lean, and that was the difference, three thousandths of a second. Hampton, to his credit, he gave he he gave a lot, a great deal of credit there to the to the lean. He said that was what cost him the victory. He said he felt good, got off to a little bit of a slow start, was able to make it up, but at the very end there, the lean was what got him. So. In the 200, Mr. Motor, Christian Shakir Ricks of Marietta Mesa, he had that gear and he showed it. Almost ran out of real estate, but then passed Hampton toward the very end, pulled out victory in the 200 meters. In the 400, Max Glasser, Marin Catholic, a guy who is a soccer player first at the start of the season, has really come on as a sprinter. I kind of liked a lot of what I saw the last month of the season where he would change his racing approach. That's how you learn, not by doing the same thing time after time. He was learning an advanced course, an honors course in sprinting throughout the end of the season, and it really paid off today in that versatility. But he, he really showed a lot. I was really happy for him. Yeah, I was going to say, you, you just mentioned the word, the key word there, versatility. Races are going to break down differently, and you got to be able to respond. And I think Glasser did a fantastic job of that today, and his reward was a state championship. How about in the long jump? <laughs> sophomore. Des you deserved for sure. <laughs> <laughs> Malcolm Clemens, a sophomore, went over 25 feet, 25 one, went ahead and won the event. A couple of big names that came up and performed well as well, but that had to be a great way to kick off the action. It happened before the first track event, and it was great to see him running down once he saw the, once he saw the performance indicator showing 25 feet plus. That was I, pretty sweet. Just to echo off of that, it was fantastic because his entire series went up on every single jump. The 25-1 was a little bit win aided, but the progression, the entire day for him, consistently better and better and better. A fantastic way to win a state championship. We mentioned as far as defending state champions uh, came through. C.J. Stevenson of Great Oak, 49 11 three quarters, just missed the 50 foot barrier, which he's already done multiple occasions this year, but he came through big time and won by about uh, almost nine inches today. 
you know, CJ a, a warrior. Uh, he came into this, was battling a little bit of a leg injury, said it was kind of uncomfortable for him to compete. He competed in the long jump, obviously wanted to repeat his title in, in the triple jump, and he also had the other goal of trying to help Rado win a team title. So all of those things were kind of swirling around him, but he's a gamer, able to pull it out there and defend his state championship in the triple jump. Bit of a surprise in the distance of Christian Laval, I believe it's pronounced, from Mission Viejo. Did not have him in my top four. He came out and he won 182.7. Now the first was that the first five individuals, first six individuals separated by less than two feet. So very close competition there for sure. Shot put, shot put was something really, Daniel Viveros, the favorite from Liberty, came through a big time, 62 five and a half, really showed. Kind of favorite thought you coming in that he was going to be the favorite. Be um, a lot of good stuff happening when he came through today. I was going to say, you touched on, on the throws and I think, you know, Laval's victory uh, was the essence of what this meet is about. Talked to him afterwards and the, the passion, the excitement on his face. He wasn't expected to win. He wasn't expected to necessarily be one of the top guys, but today was his day. He had a great performance and he came away with a state title. Viveros, again, one of the favorites, but you got to come out here and put it on the line and you got to perform. He was able to do that and he was able to get the state championship. In the hurdles, Keanu Robeson ended up going ahead and winning the 300 meter immediates. Uh, surprise, uh, Jaden Ellis, a bit of a surprise, but this is Lago with the win. 1397, he also showed very well in the three lanes. As far as the team competition goes, we figured it would be Mr. Murray, I'm sorry, Maria Mesa and Great Oak. That's exactly how it played out. First event of the meet was a four by one relay on the track. Great Oak pulled that one out. We thought great position for them. Things did not quite pick up for them in the field events. And, and Maria Mesa took care of business in every single event they were supposed to. It was going to be the case of the sure points from Maria Mesa against the possible downside, but a better overall tally for Great Oak in the second half downside and that was the difference whereas Marita Mesa ended up winning their first California State team title. A great representation for the Southwestern League. Uh, obviously those are two league rivals there going head to head. Um, I think both teams came out, both teams competed hard. A couple of breaks went Marietta Mesa's way and Grado wasn't able to respond but a fantastic showing for both and I guess you can say that the Southwestern League right now is the place to be. All right so once again a lot of great action on the boys side. Be sure to check back the website for Caltrack.com. We'll have photos, we'll have stories and some notes behind the scenes action on the 100th edition of the CF State Track and Field Championships. For Jason Ackerberger, I'm Rich Gonzalez.